Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Little Misfortune. It's been a about a month since I've played this. Uh, I do apologize. I was trying to, you know, plow through a different game each day last month, and that kind of uh, kind of cost me a little bit. I feel. So, we are finally getting caught up on all the games that you guys wanted to see me continue with. So let's just jump right into a little bit more with a uh, little little misfortune here. Isn't she adorable? Yes, let's continue. Here in the uh, hamster sex cave. Check that lady out. Aww. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black man. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, wah, wah. damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. <laughs> oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Aww. Thank you. Alright, what? There we go. Okay, it's F. That lets me do that. Oh, hello. Was it enter? Yes. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, Ooh. I'll look around. Okay, well. Here's a button we can press. Let's do I this. I wonder what this button does. Why? Another bounce. Fancy! You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. So, we did not, we visibly did not press that button. We just slapped that chair. Alright. Let's climb the ladder, please. We gotta move on, guys. We gotta move on. Okay. And now, here we are in the suit. Yee! Here we are in the sewers. We've got to stop. Got to collect. Ooh, squirrel speed. Hello. Oh, wow. Ah, this looks just like a movie I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, we wow. need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that oh. slingshot. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, look, I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Whoops. Oopsie. Let's that see. Oh god, we hit that guy right in the head. Whoosh. Oh, we're getting better. We're getting better. We're enjoying this nice squirrel speed. Oh. Still a little too much. Whoosh. Oh. Nope. A little too fast there. It's good to know there's zero consequences here when we mess up. Boom! There we go. We just gonna stay here forever now, Miss Fortune? Come on. We did it! Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay! <laughs> Anytime. Now let us... Okay, what's going on with the squirrel speed? Squirrel speed? Hmm, Let's, uh... Let's check out that nice poster for Wound Face. science project daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but mommy was really angry about it. I feel like Miss Fortune's parents were not uh, the best possible parents for her. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. 
Nothing? Okay. No one's interested in, uh... Yeah, no. We're not staying in the sewer, thank you. Come on. Let's climb this ladder. We're not waiting until the... Until the rodents come back. Yes, let's just... Yeet our way up on out, out through the hey, manhole. On the other side of the screen. Listen, huh? I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Cha. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Can I get the birds? Here, you want some glitter? No. This bird did not want glitter at all. Yeah. A missing kid. Aww. Called 112. Like Maybe I should go back home. Besides, I didn't tell mommy I went outside. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. Alright then. <laughs> but do we really need protecting? Here, have some glitter, girl. Yeah. Oh! Hello. What a rude girl. Didn't say hi back or anything. Why does the same person keep wandering Ugh, back? Smells like bull crap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, narrator? A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You know what? We're gonna make the trash can smell better. We're gonna make this creepy mask person smell better too. There you go. Yes, Phantasmagoria. The horror fair. I should get that game. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open field? That's so awesome! Maybe yeah, yeah. We find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> well, I know my eternal happiness is at a horror fair, personally. Look, hey, the fox! It's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't oh, engage hello. with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? No, thank you, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. There oh, we go. This is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Uh-huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. More importantly... BAM! Alright, can we jump the turnstiles? Can we jump the turnstiles? Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. Alright. And there's a nice farmhouse in the back. So done, you fuck! Miss Fortune. What? Language. Ah. <laughs> Indeed. Let's just keep moseying on along. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game? And got in the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily what? ever after. That sounds nice. 
You um, know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would uh, you does... like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. <laughs> Don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. So, um, can we try the sparkle on any of these birds that are all dying behind us? No? Okay, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Okay. Hello, birds. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, uh, okay. But what if? There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death yeah. is alive and it's eating from you. Sign and mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those? Hey, Franbo. Poems? Yes, we do. Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. Alright. There you go, because they were such good poems. Hello oh no. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sunbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Too bad you don't have any fish to offer the seagull. They love fish, you know. Are you trying to make me feel guilty about the fish from earlier? I made a hard decision back there, and I stand behind it. I understand, Miss Fortune. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. Yeah. Don't worry, buddy. I got you. There you go. You feel better now? Let's do Would this. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Of course I would. Let's get on this. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Mm-hmm. Let's get on the... Uh -huh. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> That's the only way uh, one should uh, ride a horse, of course. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what? You're right. We should get right back on this. I agree. We are tough lady here. Yee. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We gotta work on our landings a bit. We gotta work on our landings a bit. I think... Maybe. Maybe we just need to sparkle it up, give it a little razzle-dazzle. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Now that we've razzle-dazzled it, we've gotta see how this goes. Right? Okay. But if nothing else, this has done a really good job of showing the strength of our facial muscles. Our b the cartilage in our nose is top tier. Oh, she hello, duck. Back. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Yes. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Let's go. Of course. Check this out. Oh yeah. Get it, Miss Fortune. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Alright. Let's go talk to the duck here. We can't talk to the duck here. Can we just... No? Okay, we cannot let the duck dance. That is unfortunate, guys. That is unfortunate. Ooh, let's ride. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. Yes, let's ride this twister. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. 
Come on. We couldn't even ride the horsey all that well. Womp. <laughs> oh no, misfortune. <laughs> we are tough as nails here. There you go, because you did such a good job trying. Let's grab this horrible doll thing. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. When the trees oh. are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. When the trees oh God, are no. naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mm. Okay. Apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. All right. Hello, ma'am? This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. There we go. Come here, birds! <laughs> I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That uh -oh. sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> um, this might be taking a really dark turn in a minute here. I feel like, uh... So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything oh no uh, well honestly yes I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once I felt so bad I buried it in the yard and never told him oh I'm so sorry for the both of you <laughs> second question are you happy right now well I mean if any of you saw well not really many things make me sad that's why I want the prize so much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, I see. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Yes, I do. I'm From... pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Okay, that looks like a regular church, but all right. Oh, now here's more missing children. Can I... Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. There you go, children. Enjoy. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? This Which seems one? normal. I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What is shovel? he gonna throw a shovel this at us? Shovel. Oh, well, this looks fine. This is perfectly ah, acceptable. Shovel. Okay. Yoink. Okay, so we just have to, uh... Let's wander a little bit. Let's see. Is there anything easily identified as a goldfish grave? I mean, that's got, like, a fly lure, you would think. That might. But you know what? We'll just start at the beginning. We'll start from the beginning and work our way, right? That's the key. 
That's the path to success here. This is the first one right here, right? Yeah. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Let's dig this grave. So who was left to- Ooh, Smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. There you go. For your hot dog troubles. Okay. Let's see. Little Lulu. The first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> Aww. Yes, let's dig up the pug. Blatantly not a goldfish. Uh, nothing. Let's just... Let that pug live its fullest life. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Ooh, hmm. baby. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Yes! Let's dig this up! Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. There we go. Never let it be said you got no prize. Die doing what he loved. It's simple. Of yeah. course. Yikes forever. Let's just dig it anyway, right? Let's just chunk uh, our way. No prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. And you get some glitter. That's right. Now I'm assuming. Uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Oh no. Never saw that window coming. Ha. Huh. I don't get it. Yeah. I mean, it's a bird, but. Ah, uh, no prize in here. Wonk. There we go. Last one, unless it we continue says, farther. Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. I mean, this would seem to be the most likely. Congratulations, Hello. Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Oh. Eternal happiness. Oh. Is I... this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. It didn't! Aww. My eternal happiness! I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. Aww. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Aww. Onion. Oh. <gasps> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Oh, Benjamin. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Okay, but before we do that, I saw this thing glowing. So let's just, boom! There we go. There's our nice rainbow. And let's get this. Let's get our third doll here. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. So deep. Children I don't know why pain? I keep reading this. Oh. Like Did I'm not- find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. Aww, see? We're lying to Mr. Voice now. That's just how we've turned out. Where is Mr. We Benjamin? Should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, check out this nice little grave here. Oh, ah, yes. check out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. 
I think you're right. Let us. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Maybe. Yoink. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'll put it back. Uh oh. The game of death is what beats the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Maybe. Let's just... Let's just yeet that on out of here. And we'll just shuffle on off with it. There we go. Now everything's nice and happy again. Okay. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. Well... I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And right. for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? <laughs> Could not possibly have come up with a better way of going down there, right? Okay. Well, this looks fine here, right? Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> yes. Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Okay. What we got going on down here? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. <gasps> nice. Oh, damn. I dropped it. Oh. Well, you know, easy come, easy go. What is... Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Yeah, yoink Oh, that's causing issues. There we go. Oh. Oh, got a lever. This looks perfectly normal, right? This looks like a perfectly oh, safe place. I'm not using the fox repellent on him. Benjamin's my friend. Wow. Wow, Benjamin. You think you can trust a fox, and look what happens. You what have I gotten myself into? What indeed? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? <laughs> glitter is natural. Uh. <laughs> Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Okay, guys. You know what? It's been about half an hour. We've dug up a bunch of graves of animals. We've gone into a little bit of a fox den. we uh, I'm pretty sure we almost died a few times. So I'm going to call this one a video. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see me continuing on with Little Misfortune, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out, guys.